Hi there folks, it's me again, week 12. Can you believe it? We're getting close to the end. We have a presidential election behind us and things are looking insane as we imagined they would. Um, anyway, this week we're going to go over the topic of renewable energy policy and I will focus entirely on the US. I've assigned one article by Leah Stokes and Christopher Warshaw and recorded four videos that I think you'll find interesting. The first one is about the relative importance of different sources of energy in the US economy and how certain types of energy are becoming obsolete while others are becoming more popular. The second video is about the role of the federal government in either promoting or disincentivizing solar and wind energy. I'm focusing on these two, solar and wind, uh, simply because they are the ones that look more promising today to help transition in the economy to a more sustainable model of energy production. But there are many other sources of energy that are renewable as well, that I won't cover simply because we don't have the time to do so. For instance, hydroelectricity, uh, geothermal energy generated from biomass, uh, tidal energy, etc. In the third video, I'll go over the reading. The reading is about how the public can come to support renewable portfolio standards, also known as RPS, which are policies that can be enacted by states uh, not necessarily the federal government, to direct utilities to use a minimum percentage of renewable sources of energy in their energy supply mix. A lot of people see RPSs as one of the most important policies we can have to promote renewable energies because if states actually came up with good RPSs, meaning policies that require utilities to provide lots of energy from renewable sources, then we wouldn't be dependent on the federal government to do the right thing, right? As you know from what's been going on in the US in the last few years, the two main political parties um, in the country don't seem to see eye to eye in regards to the need to transition into renewable sources of energy. So scholars and policymakers tend to think, you know what? Don't trust the federal government to solve this problem. It's not gonna happen. Let the states do it. The problem, of course, is that in certain states, as we know already, because we've been talking about this in the, in the past, policymakers don't even want to think about enacting RPSs. Uh, and this happens mostly in states where the fossil fuel industry is very powerful, right? So we're gonna talk about that in the, in the third video. The final video, I think it's also interesting. You'll see that I go into more detail about the energy mix and the RPS for the state of Ohio. You'll see that the state's RPS is actually tied to HB6, which remember is that controversial state law that was passed in 2019 and that led to the arrest of Larry Householder, the speaker of the house in the Ohio legislature, who by the way, just won re-election. So crazy stuff for sure. Um, HB6 actually makes the state invest less in renewables. Um, and remember, it was supported by this dark money organization called um, Generation Now, right? All right, interesting week ahead. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you in the lectures, okay? Bye. Garbage truck outside, can you hear it?